Hey guys, it's Heather the Crochet Witch. How are you guys doing today? <sighs> Sorry, my hair looked weird for a second there. Welcome to the finale for June of the Movie Marquee Challenge. I'm sorry there wasn't an update for last week. Just <sighs> same excuse as always. Life got crazy. Um, I played catch up. I was like, I'm going to do an update. And then I didn't film it. So you just got week four this time. But to make up for it, I'm doing a day earlier than I was going to do. I'm going to do, I'm going to have this video up on the 29th instead of the 30th so that you who are participating have a head start choosing your colors um for the drawing uh hopefully that says i'm sorry enough <laughs> um if you are new and do not know the movie marquee challenge uh that is a collaboration that is going on for the year um between myself and uh, my friends, Bella from Bella's Crochet Gifts and Samantha from Amethyst Craftworks. Um, we are taking turns picking movies uh, that were pre-selected at the beginning of the year, but we are drawing them at random. This month has previously been Samantha's pick, the month of June, and coming up for July is my pick. Uh, so I have uh, my remaining choices here in my little cauldron, and I'm about to pick in a moment <laughs> and um we show you the movie poster for the month um we draw inspiration from said movie poster colors things in the poster etc and um make a project and um our projects are all different and uh we invite you guys to join along just for funsies um a lot of people are using it to um to destash things, to uh, use up scraps, etc. Um, people that are doing like donation items are using it for different color combination ideas um, that maybe they didn't think of before. So just different things. Um, but all of it's like fun. All of it's cool. I love seeing all of it because um, my Facebook group is always posted down below and we are asking uh, that you guys post away and show us your creations. Um, I always want to see the things that you make. I love seeing the things that you make, but I would especially love to see things for like our make-alongs and stuff. So of course. So yeah, um, the other ladies uh, don't have Facebook groups per se, like public ones of their own. So they are always checking in on mine. So we are all looking in, we're all looking in on you. <laughs> but um, yeah, so if you do join along, let us know and uh, show us what you, what you make. Uh, it doesn't have to be the things that we make. It can be whatever you want. Uh, if the movie for the month doesn't, doesn't jive with you, uh, use a movie that does inspire you and show us. Uh, just show us the movie poster that you're using. And that's, that's cool too. Like it's just a big fun... Sorry, my hair is really sitting weird to me. Like I just took a shower and then came right down and sat in front of a fan for a little bit and hung out with Maverick. So my hair was like, anyway, anyway. <laughs> um, that was the gist of the movie Marquee. That was one of my fastest introductions to it to date. So yay. Um, as I said, this month was Samantha's pick, and let me show you her movie poster right here, which was Spirited Away. Um, I had admitted in the previous uh, updates for June that I had not seen this movie, but the one thing that had, for those of you who have seen it, the one thing that stuck out to me that I remember because like a bunch of my friends saw it, I talked about it, you've seen stuff online about it, like most of us have, um, including me, I'm sure, because uh, the sweat sprites stood out to me the little puff balls of black they're so cute like even i think they're cute and i haven't seen the movie um so yeah that's that's my like knowledge of the movie um if you want to see what yarns like what the yarns were that i used uh check back in the last couple videos for the month that i did for the movie marquee there is a full playlist down below with all the bella's videos uh samantha's videos and my videos um if any of you guys also happen to, if you're creators and are playing along with us, if you happen to do it, if you uh, tag me in it, I will add that to the playlist. I'm just saying, like, fun for everyone. But, um, but yeah, uh, so you can see there, because I'm using a lot, like, my, my endeavor is to uh, 
whittle down some of mine like collection and uh this year i'm using a lot of like floppy skeins one of skeins scrap balls that kind of thing um and i'm putting them into this collection of uh, tiles that i'm making um the tiles i have my notes the tiles um i am doing and I, all of this information will be linked down below in all of these videos because it's a lot of information um there is a, a cal posted online in video form that was called the Anno 1926 cal. Uh, it was like a 17, yeah, 17 part series that was from like 2021. The designer was Amon van der Kron, but the video tutorials are by Tanya Lice. Um, like I said, it's 17 parts. I chose to only do part one and then a few steps into a few rows into part two, a few rounds into part two. Um, and where I stopped ended me with basically a diamond shape. So uh, I chose to do the diamond shape and then I am cornering it out to make rectangles. So I'm making tiles essentially um, that I am joining all together to make this crazy scrappy boho blanket by the end of the year, um, which I need to join more of them together. I have a few joined together and it's huge already, by the way, just with a couple joined. I think there's three joined together right now. Um, and it's, it's very big. <laughs> um, but I need to join the rest of them up and then sh I like show you guys or something. Um, maybe by the end of next month, I can, maybe I can get that done. I have ends to sew in was the problem from previous months that I had not gotten done. Um, and I, I keep like not finishing the very couple corners, which I did again this month, you guys. Um, uh, I keep running myself out of time, but I have enough to show you at least. Like last month I was like, I didn't get any of the corners done. So sorry. Um, I'm going to show you the tile now <laughs> and just pretend that these corners match. Cause I did, I did start these corners, but okay. So here's, and I got, here's the beauty too, except for the two. I got all of my ends sewn in this time, like all of these ends and everything. But anyway, here's the tile itself. And see for all of the puffs I did bl in black because I wanted those to be like the soot sprites. Uh, I did this brown and pink because like that's everywhere together because that those are the colors that I had for the uh, for the pig, which is the character that stood out to me. I love that pig. I love animals anyway. So I thought that pig was so cute. Um, so those colors are always like grouped together. They're kind of washed out in my light, but I promise that's like a soft pink. There we go. And then, uh, the lights of that stained glass window and the red building are grouped together. And then, well, I guess it's a stained glass window, the, the orange and the, um, yellow one. And then there's an actual stained glass window, which I'm using this variegated yarn from, which is an old Karen Jumbo. I will say that. And, um, yeah. So that's, that's my tile, like the, the finality of it. I think it came out really pretty. Um, I ended up really liking the look of the uh, variegated yarn in it. Like, I think it looks quite nice. And I made sure to also use the black here because there's kind of like black going over the, um, the stained glass, like there was in the stained glass windows, I believe. But then for the corners, <clears throat> And I, I know that I will get these corners done. Like I said, this is for the 29th. By the, by tonight, actually, by the night of the 29th, I'll be done with this. I just wanted to get the video out for you guys because after I get these couple, these couple rows are almost done here. They're like almost to the halfway point, right? Because I'm like right here in these. So I got to finish these up. And then once I hit this part, you guys doing, instead of doing one row stripes, <laughs> doing big chunks was such a game changer but I I had to for this right because the stained glass I had to have that variegated just like be I don't I didn't want one rose I don't know I just needed a chunk you know and like I could have done it one row one row one row but I I wanted it to like variegate out and kind of make the little patterns that it's doing this one wasn't as patterned as like it was patterned in the red this one was more patterned in the blue but um yeah, so that part, it goes so fast once you don't have to cut every end and sew in every end. Like, of course, that, right? But it does. And then I did a bigger chunk for the, the piggy. And then there's the little, like his little nose peeking out or, you know, so I, I did this, the pink the smallest bit. 
<laughs> I have the little piggy at the end <laughs> because I had to stick him at, you know, in there too. He's my favorite on the front. And um, like I have new skeins of the black that I had just, because Red Heart with Love is my absolute favorite. I still haven't determined. Uh, Yarnspirations has it on a 25% off sale, but they have like Bernat Pop that they're clearancing out, the colors they're clearancing out, those are on 25% off. They have um, some Karen Cakes that are clearancing out the colors of, those are 25% off. So I am really hoping that they are not clearancing out, you know, getting rid of uh, Red Heart with Love. Um, I'm about to place an order just for like black and white because, and maybe some gray and brown because I love to use the Red Heart with Love in every single thing that I do uh, as far as like solid colors. Like that is my go-to favorite yarn. I would say like Big Twist Value is my second favorite. So I guess I'll have to stock up on that if they get rid of it. But I love the Red Heart with Love. <laughs> that sounded repetitive but I do it's my it's my favorite so um I ran out of my scrap ball I literally to the last bit ran out on the on here so I, none of that appears in the corners was what I was getting at but uh that's okay because I like the idea of it just being like the soot sprites sprinkled around I think Samantha showed a picture of them like doing a little I don't I didn't see the movie so they're like doing like a little <laughs> dance or a little <sighs> They're all conversed into one area. Like she said they were eating like some sugar things or something, but they were just all in one area. So this like reminds me of that, <laughs> like where they're all just grouped up. So anyway, yeah. Soot sprites. I think I might have just called them sugar sprites, but I meant to call them soot sprites. <laughs> and then, yeah, just pretend that the bottom looks just like the top. We'll just hold it here. How about that? <laughs> So they're pretty sizable tiles, as you can see. So yeah, imagine that. I'm going to do three by four, I guess, for the blanket. So imagine how big that blanket's going to be. It's going to be pretty sizable. I'm, I'm going to be pretty happy with it, I think. And it is going to be, it's going to be wavy and wonky because I'm not at all um, blocking any of these. <clears throat> they straighten out a little bit. Like this part straightens out when I edge it, but the very edging is still a little wavy in between. And I don't care. I do not care because I feel like everybody's going to be staring at all of this beautifulness, right? I would be, you know, like I'm not trying to sound full of myself. It's not because I made it. I'm saying like if anyone else made it, I wouldn't be staring at the wonky edges. I would be staring at, at the, this because there's so much going on. And like, just like, like I said, it's going to be beautiful, boho, scrappy, you know, gypsy looking like wonderfulness so like I love it so I'm very happy with all of this so yeah that is that is what I came up with and hopefully you guys like it too and like I said I know it'll be done by tonight because that is my like endeavor is to get that done and to not part of this but to finish my June blanket that I was working on the rainbow blanket if you guys were following along with my um stitch marker opening uh chatty videos that I just have like one more border row to put on with that and then we're good with that um so let's get to picking for July shall we I have two I have two left and let me just say let's see what will my next pick be so like I'm doing July Bella would be doing Bella's doing my birthday month. <laughs> she wanted to do her birthday month. That puts her in line for my birthday month because she'll be doing August, September. I'll be doing October though. Hey, I'd prefer to do October, so that's okay. <laughs> um, okay, so I have two left. I was going to say, mine, mine would be, one of my picks will be very ironic if I pick it for July. Okay, I don't even remember the, the second pick because I have two left, so... Sorry for the clinking of my rings on the... I'm just trying to, like, shuffle them around in here. My other hand has, has like... There's more rings on this one, but Anubis and my snake are way more likely to clink on it. So I was trying to... All right. All right. You guys want to pick? <laughs> Let's go with this one. 
I know Samantha's really hoping for the one I just said. It would be ironic. So. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, Samantha. It's not that one. You guys will have to wait and see what that one will be. But I think you'll be equally pleased with the colors and stuff for this one. I think this poster is pretty colorful. Star Wars A New Hope. So... Yes, it says Star Wars A New Hope, and the poster I'm about to show you is Star Wars A New Hope, but let me just say, if you are inspired by any of the posters in the Star Wars universe, episode one, two, three, four, five, six, any of them, go for it. Like, honestly, I would not be upset if anybody participated and said, like, oh, I really wanted to use the poster for Han Solo, or whatever. Use whatever, Star Wars, Star Wars, but I specifically A New Hope because... Um, just to very briefly talk, let me show you the poster while I'm talking about it. Okay. Here's the poster, but cause I need to end this video and give you guys a short video. Um, <clears throat> a new hope. I had this on, like my mom bought this video when I was a kid, this VHS tape. And I was like certain it was like one of the original VHS releases. And it may have been, I don't know, but she, I remember she bought it for me from like a yard sale when I was a kid, a little, little kid. Uh, Cause they came out before I was like slightly before I was born, and uh, yeah, I watched that so much. Like right after my like really little kid phase with like the follow that bird from Big Bird and stuff like that, I went directly from there into like horror movies and Star Wars. Like that was like me like five six years old horror horror movies and Star Wars. <laughs> so um, yeah, I was super in love with it. Um, like I said, I was only like five or six. So like uh, at first I went around telling everybody I was going to uh, marry Chewbacca. Then I found out what happens when you marry people. And I was like, no, 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 <laughs> no, no. I'm marrying Han Solo. Like, <laughs> I mean, no. <laughs> Chewie can be our best friend. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, yeah, it was, it was my childhood definitely i love it i don't have the poster in front of me but i believe you'll see like a lot of different like blues whites grays um there'll be definitely some golden like luke's hair color in there um there, there should be some like oranges i believe there's even like some pink sprinkled in there in like the space area um yeah, because this this require it doesn't require, but they they suggested nine colors for the entire blanket. But instead of since I'm not doing the entire blanket, I'm still like endeavoring to find nine colors for the most part for the whole like for what I'm doing. Sometimes I fall a little short, and we'll see what I end up doing. But yeah, I get to go pick some colors after I finish after I finish this. So um, I feel like black is going to end up being a predominant a predominant piece of this but we'll see um <clears throat> you don't have to do predominantly black though just because they're in space like you know maybe you could do a uh, um jedi theme and focus on the you know luke's outfit and uh whatever <laughs> or if you do a different cover there's different colors it doesn't have to be this one like i said i would be so happy with any of them just if you do a different color let me know which color or which cover let show me show me in the facebook group okay all right uh on that note i'm gonna go uh i'm gonna let you guys pick your colors and um gonna let bella and samantha <coughs> excuse me pardon me and do a reaction video to this and i'm gonna get busy all right i love you guys i will talk to you very soon all right bye guys